Yo, okay, this guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the outside. We're here again at our favorite park. And what we're going to be doing today is I have some boom mat in my hand here. And what this is supposed to do is eliminate road noise, um, alleviate some vibration, and help with sound, um, making it sound better, less rattles, better acoustic treatment for your car. And so for me, I just put in the EVL 12s. If you haven't seen my EVL videos, my SCAR audio videos, I've done some in the past, not too long ago got some two 12 inch subs in the trunk and of course with subs comes a lot of vibration a lot of rattling so this is going to help me or supposed to help me eliminate some of the trunk rattle because we all know we all hate those cars who drive past us and their trunk and cars falling apart some people find that really cool but for me personally I hate it and I can hear it inside the car at moderately high volumes I can hear everything rattling and it really really just changes the way my sound sounds I hate it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this on the trunk right now. We're gonna play a song real quick and I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like before I put this boom mat on here. And then we're gonna spray it and then we're gonna to listen to it again and see if it helps. So, let's do it. All right guys, so I'm gonna play a song really quickly. Um, this is not a copyright, a copy free copyright song. It's actual song off of, from g Easy, so I can't play it long for copyright reasons. But I'll play it just enough for you to hear the rattle of the trunk. And then we're going to spray the trunk with the boom mat, and then we're going to play the same song at the same volume again and see how it sounds. Alright, so I hope you guys were able to hear that. You can hear the trunk rattling pretty well, and I can hear that inside the car too, and it really just makes the song sound so terrible. All you can focus on is the vibration inside the car. So what we're going to do now is open the trunk. We're just going to spray the trunk today just to hear if there's a difference. And if there is, we'll might, we might spray the car with the rest of it. If not, we're going to go with traditional um, Dynamat, but we'll have to see what happens. So let's spray the trunk, and then we'll play that same song at the same volume and see if it got any better. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ay, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feet. All right, so I went ahead and let this dry. You can kind of see the material. It is a thick black sludge almost. It's kind of on my hands, as you guys can see there. But it's like a thick sludge that you can pretty much spray on anything and it just coats it so right now we're gonna let this dry just a little bit longer and we'll test it I went ahead and sprayed the mat that goes over top of it just to give that some even more reinforcement but we sprayed it down here you can kind of see what it turns into it just completely blackens out the trunk there and gives it this really thick coating and it's supposedly supposed to help um, dampen vibration, which is exactly what I want it for. And if this works really well, I may spray my doors with it. Or we'll, if it doesn't work very well, we'll probably go back to regular Dynamat. So here in just a moment, we'll close the trunk and we'll play that same song and see how it sounds. All right, we're losing daylight here, so let's get on with this here. So we finally got the mat back on. It's dried enough. Um, my hands are all messy and just nasty. So we're going to go ahead and close the trunk. We're going to play that same song again. For those who are going to spray, I do recommend putting a towel here. I forgot to bring a towel. Um, it's okay. It comes right off, but it will be on your window if you don't have a towel there. So have one on there. I got to wash my car now, but without further ado, let's close the trunk. We're going to play that song again for a couple of seconds and see if there's a difference. I don't know. 
All right, guys, so we got it sprayed in. We played a song, and to be honest with you, it, the difference is very minimal. It wasn't a lot, and it was an entire can of spray just on that trunk part. It, it made a difference, I'm not going to lie to you. A little bit less rattle at that same volume. It's not bad, um, but it's not going to completely kill it. I still think Dynamat would do better, so I'm probably going to Dynamat that on top of it. And it should be fine. I'll probably use Dynamat for the doors too, and I'll probably do a video of that to tell you the differences. Um, so, but if you're looking at that boom mat spray can, it's it's convenient. It's nice to be able to just to spray it. It dries relatively quickly, and you're good to go. But I think Dynamat superior to it. Maybe if I put another coat or two of it, it might be better. I probably won't go through the struggles of doing it. Um, but just with one can, you may want to think about getting two or three just to layer it. So I would spray it, let it dry, spray it, let it dry, and then maybe do one more coat if you think you need it. And it should actually dampen a lot of uh, that vibration and, and cut down on that road noise. Other than that, uh, I think down mat still superior because you can change how thick you want it or whatever. Put as many, uh, many slices, as many pieces as you want to. But that's that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it informative, leave me a comment down below. Would you sound damp in your car? And if you would, what would which would you use? Would you use the boom mat spray or would you use traditional dynamat? Let me know that down below in the corner in the corner in the comments below. And hit that like button too while you're at Damn it! Leave me a like while you're at it and make sure you're subscribed for the next week's videos. We'll see you guys soon. Take this guy out. Peace.